Now I've been seeing a lot of cool ideas that people have had for the NBA playoffs, okay? One video in particular I saw was that you could steal a player from the team you beat. So for instance, you would have Steph with Jokic and Ja Morant. Just think about like, how OP these teams will be. So I figured let's see what happens if we do the same thing in Madden. We're gonna simulate an entire season and then at the end, when we get to the playoffs, we'll put this plan into effect. It's gonna be completely random. I don't know the teams that are gonna make it, you know, into the playoffs. Maybe if you like the video now, your team might make it in the playoffs. Who knows what could happen? On the AFC side of the bracket, we have the Dolphins and the Chargers. The Chiefs got the one seed, the Steelers versus the Broncos, and then the Titans and the Bengals. Wow. NFC side, Cowboys always got the one see we have the Packers and the Rams whoever moves on from there is gonna get an elite player okay let's keep it that simple you have the Eagles and the Saints and then the Niners and the Buccaneers so let's simulate one week and then uh adjust the teams as necessary here we go man so the Chargers beat the Dolphins they get to steal one player I mean it's pretty much a no-brainer like you know who they're going with even though the Chargers have a really good wide receiver core you have to go with Tyreek you just have to so look at the brand new Los Angeles Chargers now Keenan and Tyreek you have two x-factor wide receivers Mike Williams has superstar he must have got during the season Eckler was superstar Herbert was superstar your team is stacked okay you're gonna need everyone to eat because you're going up against the Kansas City Chiefs next up we have the Steelers beating the Broncos 35 to 21 I think I know what the pick might be but one could say I mean he just beat Russell Wilson head to head but how much of that was the supporting cast getting it done, man? If you had this team of Russ, they might have a chance to compete. Defensive wise, you already have multiple X factors, multiple guys with abilities. So yeah, it has to be an offensive person. Like Justin Simmons is their best player, but you already have Minka. You know, you don't really need him right now. So Russell Wilson has to be the obvious choice. We'll see if he can get it done against Derrick Henry and the Titans. Speaking of those Titans, they just obliterated the Bengals 28 to three. And now they get to steal one player. Quarterbacks, I think their overalls are around the same you already have king henry so you're not going to take mixing it has to be a wide receiver i mean you just lost julio you lost aj brown you know it has to be jamar chase right you have Traylon burks robert woods who are both star henry's your only guy on offense that has abilities yeah i think it has to be jamar defense is solid multiple guys with abilities now you have two guys with abilities and a more talent for Tannehill to throw to finally on the nfc side of bracket the rams beat the packers 31 13 i know stafford can get it done like that's not a question because we just saw it in real life the question is do we upgrade to aaron Rodgers? i mean that's the guy that's 10 plus overalls higher he has x factor this is a tough decision because i know rams fans uh you know stafford fans are like no leave stafford but then you know my brain is telling me come on man it's aaron freaking Rodgers. so i don't know what to do he's by far their best player now you already have Ramsey. If you have him and Jair, it's over. Like you're not scoring on that defense. You already have Bobby Wagner. You have Aaron Donald. This is a viable option. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. Their O-line is not the best either. Bakhtiari would be a solid addition, but I think having two shutdown corners would just be unbelievable. So the offense will stay the same. Meanwhile, there's now four X factors on their defense. If the Rams don't win this, Madden is ass, but we already knew that. Next up, my Eagles caught the dub against the Saints, something we've never done in the playoffs. I feel like the Saints always beat us when we match up in the playoffs. This is the best Eagles roster that I can remember since like the early 2000s when we had B-Doc, we had that elite secondary with Shepard, Sheldon Brown, Autumn Duke. Look at the depth, man. Jordan Davis not even starting. This is insane how much depth is on his team. They need a little bit of linebacker help, maybe a strong safety. Let's go see the roster we we're going to steal a player from. Kamara's unbelievable. Like, <laughs> but do you need a 99 over running back? That's the thing. I, I don't think you do. How about this guy right here? The Honey Badger. That's just a perfect fit. I don't even have to think twice about it, man. Welcome to the Eagles. Now, Jalen has a phenomenal support cast. Would it have been nice to have a 99 here? Yes. Yeah but hey booby can get it done scott game well they can get it done aj brown Devontae. i mean if we didn't have aj i probably would have taken michael thomas but no look at the defense now jesus christ slay harris tyran and bradbury not to mention the, the d line bro the eagles are going to be a tough out and then finally the buccaneers beat the niners 
24-21, they get to steal a player. See, now the Bucks are a team that don't really have too many weaknesses, but I'm looking at one right now. Remember, they did not bring back Gronk. So this is actually a lot easier than you might think because they are stacked at uh, most of the important positions, like secondary is really good. They have the best nose tackle in the league. Their linebackers are probably top three in the league, maybe top one. So Fred Warner would obviously be the pick on the mostly every other team. Same with like Trent Williams, both. I mean, the Niners are stacked. Jesus Christ. Debo's like their sixth best player. He should be higher in my opinion, but yeah, it has to be George Kittle. They don't have Gronk. It's a no brainer. These teams are getting more and more OP. Now Brady has two X factors to throw to. Yeah, they're going to be very, very tough to stop. So that's it for the changes we made in round one. Now there's four more matchups. Four more teams will be adding a player after this round. On the AFC side, the Chiefs beat the Chargers 38-26. They're still in the Los Angeles player. Now, this is the first game the Chiefs have won in this video because remember, they had the first round by. Now, their offense, obviously, Mahomes, Kelsey, Juju, Edwards, Hiller. You know what I'm saying? Now, their front seven could use some work. So, I think that's where we try to attack. Maybe cornerback, but yeah, defense in general has to be the move. Do we reunite Tyreek with Mahomes and Kelsey? I mean, that's an option. I don't know. I, we have to think about that. We definitely have to think about that. But we also have to think about Joey Bosa, how he would fit on this defense. We also have to think about Derwin James. James. I know they have Justin Reed, but having him and Duran would be nasty. Khalil Mack, yeah, it has to be defense. I'm sorry. It just has to be defense. I think we got to go with Bosa. Damn it. What do we do? I feel like there's no right option. Tyreek, Bosa. I mean, we've seen them dominate with Tyreek before. I think we have, you know what? Let's give them Tyreek back. Back where he belongs in Kansas City. So now the offense is complete. I mean, Juju's still there. You have Sky Moore. You have Me Cole. Just so many weapons for Mahomes. Their offense is going to need to carry them because their defense is struggling. Then we had the Titans narrowly beat the Steelers and Russell Wilson 17 to 14. So the Titans already stole Jamar Chase. I mean, that, obviously that helped them get the W against the Steelers. Now their old line needs a little bit of help, but I'm low key leaning towards the defense because there's one guy in particular that's on the Steelers that would help this team out a lot. He goes by the name TJ Watt, AKA the DPOI. And it makes sense. They run a three, four, just like the Steelers. This is a no brainer, man. It has to be him. Tannehill is getting the the job done he just beat russ so I, I think it has to be him and then on the nfc side the rams continue their domination 31 to 14 over the cowboys i try to tell you that defense will be scary i mean they shut down the cowboys offense now they still need some help on the front seven just a little bit offensive wise maybe an old lineman but that's about it we might have to go with like zach martin just a pick that's not so flashy look at this Dak is up to a 95 same with zeke jesus christ yeah tyron zach it, it probably has to be one of them but at the same time if we get parsons will wagner and donald on the same front seven bro i don't know how you stop that i don't I, do we just stack their defense even more <laughs> I'm leaning towards it. I feel like that'll be the fun pick. Maybe not the smartest pick, but that, I feel like that'll be the most fun. Micah Parsons, you know what? Let's do it. Make that five X factors on one defense. Parsons, Wagner, Donald Ramsey, and Jair. This might be the best defense of all time. What are they? Only 89 somehow? Wow. And then finally, the Buccaneers destroyed my Eagles 27-13. So they get to take someone from Philadelphia. Now the question is who or what do they actually need? Now the left tackle, left guard situation, not looking the best if they get a nice guy on the line it might be over for the rest of the league but their d-line could also use a little help man left and right end uh, eagles are pretty pretty stacked at the d-line position so it's gonna be a tough decision see the honey badger doesn't really make that much sense they already have a good secondary like winfield is back there uh you know so i don't think they need anyone in the secondary kelsey would make sense on a lot of teams but not this one because they already have an elite center right guard and right tackle now you could get lane and move in the left tackle he has abilities that might be the move they, no one said you can't just change their position so we might actually go ahead and do that and plus after looking at that rams d line yeah you needed someone on the old line lane johnson their new left tackle so now we have the bucks with george kittle and lane johnson against the rams who added micah parsons and jair alexander to that already stacked defense and you can tell it's definitely having an effect the bucks have not scored a point and we're almost in the fourth quarter 17 to 0 brady come on my guy i know his defense is probably the best of all time but you're the best of all time 
Let's see something happen, man. Oh my goodness, Aaron Donald wreaking havoc. This is insane, man. I tried to help out the Bucks as, as best as I possibly could. I think they're gonna have the best chance of any team remaining that's gonna be able to somehow score against this defense. They're in the red zone here, so I, they have to get points. Not just three, you need seven. You need a touchdown. It's really that simple. Why not go to George Kittle? Okay, Mike Evans for another first down. Yeah, you gotta go for it. Fourth and goal, this is pretty much the game. You don't get a touchdown here. The Rams can just milk the clock their offense has been untouched it's been nothing but their defense he's gonna lob it up incomplete the rams damn near pitched a shutout 24 to 6 and they get to steal someone from the buccaneers do we give them vita vea next to aaron donald parsons that would be just insane. I think the, the Rams defense would literally be the best of all time. I mean, Higby is solid. It's been working. We've left the Rams offense alone and it's been working. Make it six people with abilities, man. Good luck running, passing, moving the ball against this defense, man. There's no way, but I'd like to see someone try. So the winner of this game, the Titans and the Chiefs will go ahead and get that opportunity. Remember the Titans stole Jamar Chase from the Bengals and TJ Watt from the Steelers. Meanwhile, the Chiefs got Tyreek back and they're down 20 to seven at halftime. Hey man, I still feel like that was the right choice because we've seen them win Super Bowls with Tyreek, Kelsey, Mahomes and company before. So why not again, third and three, Let's see if Tannehill decides to go to Jamar. Their new pickup. Great protection. Over the middle. It's dropped. Maybe this Chiefs defense a little bit underrated, man. We didn't give anybody to them. And they're still somehow in this game. Third and five. Over the middle. Who is that? Is that Jamar? Coughing up the football. He was trying to make a play. Third down and four. Crucial play. Still one possession game. They just need to keep the chains moving. And they do. Sky Moore with the first down. Less than three minutes now. Mahomes stepping up in the pocket. Finding Kelsey. They're in the red zone. Mahomes dropping back. Great protection. He could scramble, but instead he finds me Cole and it's a tie game. Third and 11. Another ginormous play. Tannehill finding Jamar Chase making up for that earlier fumble. I knew that was a smart poach from the Bengals. I, I didn't even think there was another option. I mean, Jamar is just a playmaker. He's that guy. Speaking of that guy, Traylon Burks with a nice catch way to tiptoe and get them even closer. Now, remember there's snow, so they have to get even closer, man. Derrick Henry, that's how you do it. Now they're in field goal range. Here it is to win this ball game. Are the Chiefs not gonna ice him? I'm about to say. So after that ice, it's up to Randy Bullock to send them to the Super Bowl, the Titans are gonna rematch the Rams. Now, I feel like Tyreek's the bad luck charm. Everywhere, every team that has scooped him up has lost. So we're not gonna go with him, I'm sorry. Mahomes, maybe, but I feel like the Titans are, are just, they're proud. They wanna see Tannehill win at quarterback. So I don't think him either, which is why you saw Travis Kelsey as a free agent because we already cut him, all right? That's the guy we're scooping up. That's the guy that I feel gives the Titans the best chance to win. So let's see what happens, man. They poached Jamar Chase, poached Travis Kelsey, stole TJ Watt. Now they're a pretty freaking nasty squad, but so are are the Rams not even their offense their offense is still really good but my goodness what are you gonna do about this bro Parsons Vita Vea Jair good luck beating this team second and 14 for the Rams in overtime great play by TJ Watt and the Nico Altry that pass rush of the Titans getting there third and 25 can they give their offense another chance man three-man pass rush Stafford to the bottom of the screen wide open Tyler Higby that might be the game for the win the Rams win another one against the Titans in the Super Bowl and there you have it this is what would happen if every playoff team could steal a player from the team they beat hopefully you guys enjoyed this experiment it was a fun one thanks for watching all the way to the end please don't forget to subscribe if you're new follow all the socials if you haven't already and i'll see you on the next one nobody safe came from heaven we fresh out the gate and i look like i came from l.a from new jersey i look like l.a i'm a water i'm from in l.a i'm a get it it's my for the tape ride the beamer when i'm out of state could it be almost got me a case Go Olympic, I'm winning the race. Now I want one cause I'm killing the game. Talking crazy, I'm going insane. Shifting gears and I'm switching the lane. How about stations just going to tame? Going up so I'm making a name.